In this Maths Olympiad question, we're given that the cube root of x plus 28 minus the cube root of x minus 28 is equal to 2. We need to work out the value of x. So we've got our equation that we want to solve. The first thing to notice here is that we've got two separate cube roots. So if we try and cube both sides, even if we rearrange it first, we're not going to get rid of those cube roots because we just end up with multiples of them in other places. So that's not going to help. So we need a way to try and get rid of one of those cube roots. And what we can do is if we let a cubed equal x plus 28, so the amount under the first cube root, this would then mean that a cubed minus 56 is equal to the x minus 28 under the other cube root. Substitute them in, we get the cube root of a cubed minus the cube root of a cubed minus 56 is all equal to 2. But the cube root of a cube, that just leaves us with a. So we've now just got that one cube root. So rearranging this equation to get the cube root by itself, we know that a minus 2 is equal to the cube root of a cubed minus 56. And we can now both cube both sides to get rid of that. So we have a minus 2 all cubed is equal to a cubed minus 56. Using our binomial theorem to expand the cube, we get that a minus 2 all cubed is equal to a cubed plus 3, lots of a squared times negative 2, plus 3 times a times negative 2 squared plus negative 2 cubed, which simplifies to a cubed minus 6a squared plus 12a minus 8. So that is all equal to a cubed minus 56. We can subtract a cubed and add 56 to both sides. So we get that minus 6a squared plus 12a plus 48 is equal to 0. So we've got a quadratic to solve. All of those terms are multiples of 6. As the squared coefficient is a negative, if we divide through by negative 6, then we'll end up with a positive square, which is that little bit easier to look at. So dividing through by negative 6, we get a squared minus 2a minus 8 equals 0 which factorises nice and easily into a minus 4 times a plus 2. So the solutions for a must be minus 2 from that second bracket or 4 from the first bracket. Now we know that a cubed equals x plus 28. So x plus 28 must equal negative 2 cubed, which is negative 8. Subtracting 28 from both sides gives us that x is equal to negative 36. Looking at our other answer for a equals 4, then x plus 28 would equal 4 cubed, which equals 64. So subtracting 28 from both sides gives us positive 36. So there we have it. There are our answers. x is equal to plus or minus 36. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.